there, this is Janet with Love and Bleed Designs, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to work on kind of a personal shirt for me, a sweatshirt, and it is going to be a stitched out mama design shirt with some fabric I got from um, I think it's Hobby Lobby or Michaels, but I think they both have, oh no, it was Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby. So yeah, let's go do it. I, I use poly mesh stabilizer in the back and then on top of that I also use cutaway stabilizer. I feel like it has more stability and it looks a lot cleaner, the, the um, stitching does. So, and I'll link this font um, below in, in the description because I have this font. It's a varsity font. I also have it in satin and oh this is zigzag and I have it in um, satin font, satin stitch, and also on like um, just bean stitch. So I have like all three stitches. like I know it's backwards sorry but that's what it looks like um, I have my camera turned the other way my kids names are here you don't see it very prominently because I really didn't want anything that was just like you know loud I didn't want really thick font um, I, so I used bean stitch down here and I alternated the fabric or the thread colors so pink kind of a the red that matches these flowers and then pink and red and pink and red so isn't that cute so let's see what it looks like. And as always, I print it off and I keep the fabric I use and I also know the thread colors I use. Um, that way I can find it pretty quickly in my little handy dandy notebook that I tend to keep all my designs in here, which has the thread color I used and the actual fabric. So I'm not having to think about it. I know a lot of people just, you know, save the design, which I do. I save my design, of course, you know, and in Brilliance, I save it on my hard drive. But this way, um, because the in Brilliance thread is brother thread, um, and I may use a different um, manufacturer like Madeira. At the time I make the design, um, this way I've got it in paper form of which fabric I used. I put M for Madeira, VR for Brother, and um, F for Florinine. I think that's the name of it. I only have like one one spool of that brand. Mostly it's Brother and Madeira. So I'll get all this cleaned up and I will show you what final looks like. Okay, so here is the final shirt. I do see one issue that I do have is that it's too down, down too far. Um, here's my little guide that I used, so I must not have done it very well. So I'm about an inch off from the top. Um, I got these from Amazon. I will, just kind of plasticky. Um, I will link those below, but it does help on placement. I just didn't, I don't think I even used it this morning. I was just like, so I'm on about an inch off, so it should be a little higher, about this high. But overall, I do love it. I really like this shirt, uh, this sweatshirt. It is a Gildan, I think 1800 um, cotton brand sweatshirt. It is a 2X, so it does have a lot of room. It's like an all, it's a unisex kind of a sweatshirt. Final result, I love it. Bye.